Sengi's fourth principle of discipline is team learning. So within the context of our acronym and our model, we're saying that, all right, we've challenged the old assumptions about the business, M for most. We've built a vision of the future, V for valuable. We're getting people to become experts at what they do, personal master, mastery or player. And now we're up to the T, team learning or team. What does that mean? It means that the people in the business must learn how to effectively and efficiently work as a team what does that mean? Well, it means well, individuals can work and solve problems more effectively together. Some people are great on their own, but for the vast majority, you're going to be more creative, going to be more adaptive. If you get a chance to work as a group, then we can adapt and change successfully. So history is littered with people who are great on their own. Okay, so we've got Einstein, Edison, uh, Isaac Newton, Da Vinci, and even in sports, you say, well, Roger Federer, I know he's a coach and like a physio and stuff, but fundamentally he's playing on his own. That is really, really difficult to be great at that. And they're probably all geniuses, right? Well, not everyone's a genius. We need to work together. So for most people, ideas and changes happen when people work together in teams. So in 2007, it looks like Steve Jobs was the one. He got up there and gets all the credit for releasing the iPhone. He actually didn't create it at all. He was kind of just the front man. There's this great article that says Steve Jobs didn't invent the iPhone, but he did make it happen. So what does that mean? Well, it says, yeah, Steve Jobs didn't invent it. It's part of like a whole team of people. And in fact, Apple didn't even really invent some of the technology such as like the uh, the touchscreen. They kind of got that from other businesses as well. So you, you need people to work as a team to come up with one new product, the smartphone. It's not one person. It's a whole team of people. What about um, constantly changing and developing new ideas? We need to encourage interactions and teamwork as a business. So to sort of implement this uh, discipline or, or principle. So what we don't want is we don't want offices and creative companies. They don't look like this anymore with cubicles where you can't really see the person next to you. People eat um, lunch at their desk. That's not good because it doesn't encourage communication. That's why new businesses look like this. Google. So they've got places for staff to socialize and eat open work areas, um, stand up desks, open plan offices, and lots of games rooms. We're getting people to interact because even though it might be a formal work thing, the more the people talk to each other and communicate, the more they're gonna come up with new ideas and be able to change. Now that's really difficult now we're all working from home, but you can see here, we've incorporated some of that into working from home, but still being part of a team. So that's a big challenge for the future. Looking at Apple, um, Apple's um, like the, the staff canteen, it looks so simple and plain that it's beautiful. And it gives people a chance doing, you know, work together and look at this open plan area. Um, you have yoga studios and so on for people to work together and socialize. But if you look at it, it's kind of like a big donut shape. And the whole middle is this beautiful sort of park area, encouraging people to just kind of be at work. And, you know, you might think of the next brilliant change or idea whilst you're going for a walk. Uh, around this track or riding a bike, for example.